What's up, guys? Gunnar, over here. Yeah. First of all, congratulations on your win, mate. Um, another Thank win you. in the UK again, which is always nice to see for us. <laughs> um, Brian Barberina, he is a very, very tough opponent and right. made it look, almost look easy in there. How, how, you must be very happy with your performance tonight. Yeah, I am. Uh, I'm very happy. Uh, he, he's a tough guy, and I could tell, I mean, I was, I was having it my way and, and I was on top of him on the ground and he was kind of like poking me a little bit and I looked at him and I smiled and he just started laughing, this funniest laugh. And this is the first time I've actually started laughing in the middle of a fight. Like I generally laughed. Maybe that was part of his game plan to throw you off. Yeah, yeah maybe, maybe. Well, it was fun. And um, obviously everyone knows Brian's very, got very strong like knockout power sort of thing. So I'm guessing yeah. the game plan, as always, Gunnar, we know how fantastic you are on the ground. We knew as soon as you got your hands on him, you know, it was going to be a short night, you know, and obviously you proved that. Was that the game plan going in? Like, yeah. I mean, the game plan is always to get on top. It's just the smarter way of fighting. If you're on top of somebody, you're winning a fight. So, yes, that's always my game plan. Yeah, congratulations and pleasure to see you fight again. I don't know from here. Obviously, uh, Brian was on this this run uh, not too long ago with a lot of these these very exciting close fights, and then he ran yes. into RDA, got submitted. Did that kind of lay the blueprint of just how to get Brian out there quickly? Um, yeah, definitely. He, he showed some weakness in in Brian's game, um, and I, but but I think Brian he, he knew that, and I'm sure he was working on them, and and I'm sure he was working his wrestling a lot. I actually tried that very trip that. Uh, RDA got him down with, and he defended it nicely. And I think he was really aware of it because we were like crawling on the cage, like back and forth. And I think he was thinking about it a lot. And then I, I gave it a little go, and, and he defended nicely. So, um, yeah. I think it's tomorrow will be a year to the date of your last fight. So it is. obviously a lot of stuff you, you had cleared up and cleaned up. Since then, what do you want the rest of your year to look like? Are you maybe hoping to get the Daniel Rodriguez fight rebooked? Are you, or are there any other names that you might like? Uh, yeah, I don't mind. I'm not really focused on names or stuff like that. Um, right now, I'm just going to go back home and uh, focus on the team and, and stuff like that, and we'll see. You might not have names on your mind, but are there dates or months that you maybe want to get back in there? And how many do you want to be active? Uh, like right now, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Gonna just over here, quick one from me. It wasn't too long ago you were fighting Leon Edwards um, on in London yeah. um, a few years ago, and actually the crowd was cheering you and booing Leon, which was yeah. I, I felt very bad for Leon. He didn't deserve that, and I think finally now Leon is getting the respect and uh, and like the support that he deserves, in my opinion. Yeah, and today, of course, he will be cheered on. Um, yeah. Just wanted to get your thoughts on that main event. How do you think it's going to go? Uh, I'm with Leon all the way. I think Leon is going to get it. Uh, I think uh, I think he didn't look himself. Uh, I didn't, don't think he performed well in his last fight. And he still cruised through these three brutal rounds uh, and was able to get the win in the end with the beautiful knockout. Uh, but I could see it like right away in, in the second round that he, he wasn't himself. He wasn't the Leon that I normally see. And... and the Liam that I fought, you know, and so I think he's going to be 10 times better. We're going to see a different Liam tonight. And uh, you fought a few times here now in London. What is it that you love so much about fighting here? I don't know. I just love the fans. It's I know it as well, and I'm sure, like, fighting elsewhere is nice as well, and um, I've fought in different places, and I've usually enjoyed it. And uh, But I don't know. Yeah, I just know this place, and it's just, it's so loud, and there's so much energy here, and, like, yeah, I just love it. I don't know what to say. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. You want to in the, in the middle here. Um, would you have any interest now in, um, in maybe getting one of those uh, UFC Dublin cards back going? And perhaps I, I saw people on social media saying maybe you and Ian Gary would be a great fight. Yeah, I mean, UFC Dublin was one of the mo like, most amazing nights that I've ever had. It was phenomenal. And yeah, that would be awesome to get back in there.